In this video, I'll explain the difference between phenotype and genotype. You need this knowledge to make genetics very biological. This is a picture of the British royal family. As you can see, all these people look very different. They have a lot of different traits or characteristics. All these traits of an organism are the phenotype. For example, their hair color, eye color, skin color, their length, eye socket size, foot length, finger length, finger thickness, jaw width, the nostril size, the amount of body hair, and so on. But also things like intelligence, whether or not they are able to digest lactose, their heart size, their intestinal length, whether or not they have a certain disease, how effective the thyroid gland works, and so on. All these traits together are the phenotype. The corgis on the photo also have a phenotype. They have a certain coat length, a coat color, eye color, and they may or may not be able to digest lactose. The phenotype is determined by two factors. Genes play a very important role. All information about the construction of an organism is in the DNA. Short pieces of DNA code for certain properties. Such a piece of code is called a gene. Genes are passed on from parent to child. The mechanisms behind this will be explained in future videos. The other important factor determining the phenotype is the environment of the organism. When there's little to eat, someone will be shorter compared to a situation when there's enough food. Someone can dye their hair, get a nose job or get a new set of boobs. These are all environmental influences. These changes to the phenotype cannot be passed on from parent to child because it is not caused by genes. To summarize. The phenotype consists of all traits an organism has. The phenotype is determined by the genes, the genotype, and the environment. If you have any questions about this subject or other questions, please let me know in the comments. Eventually, everything will be very biological.